discover the smart office solutions that will allow employees to work smarter and faster and improve the overall productivity of the workplace. And here to give us an introduction of what RICO has to offer, let me introduce to you the driving force behind the RICO brand here in the Philippines. Let us all welcome the President and CEO of RICO Philippines, Mr. Eric Sulit. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming, in spite of the weather. Sana hindi ka nahirapan makarating dito. And then I hope also that the weather will improve. I'm going to be brief, but before I start, I just want to share a short story. Total, uso naman ngayon yung ano yan, ito Uber story. So, last Tuesday, nag-absent yung driver namin. So, my son has to go to school. My son is grade 1 in Ateneo, so he goes to school there. Uh, the school starts at uh, 12 uh, noon. So, we have, he has to leave the house around 10 para meron allowance in case something happens to be able to get there. So, sabi ko, no problem, I'll just get you an Uber. So, I called an Uber and then they left the house at uh, 10 o'clock. And then, you know, this is first time to do this, no? And it's my first time to put him in an Uber without me, and then he was with his, although he was with his yaya. So, pupunta doon, uh, this was Tuesday, they left at 10 o'clock, and then, so they have to pass C5. And by the time they got to the bridge, nakita ko doon sa, ano, doon sa phone ko, tumigil yung, ano, yung Uber. Uh, tapos mamaya, after a few minutes, nag-text yung, uh, yung yaya niya, Uh, sir, tawag mo kayo kasi si William uh, gusto na, na, na natatakot. So, pakitawagin ko. So, I called him and then he, he told me there was an accident uh, in front of them. So, I think you know what happened, no? This was Tuesday morning, 10 o'clock. There was a uh, big pile up of cars in front of them. So, hindi sila, maka, ano, hindi sila makatawid. Uh, then he was scared, no? Hindi ko nalaman yung buong kwento until after umuwi na yung, uh, yung ngaya. Pero ito, ito pala yung nangyari. So he was uh, saying to the, he was telling the yaya, sabi niya, I, I'm scared, I wanna go home. Because there was an accident in front and then, you know, there were people running around and then there were cars uh, and they didn't know what to do. So he was scared. This was his first time uh, in an Uber, no? So the driver of the Uber said, sabi niya, don't worry. You're 100% safe with me. I'll get you to your school. Di ba may ati? Hintay sila. Tagal. Nakita ng driver, may dala silang baon. Sabi, why don't you eat your food first? And then, you know, you can eat here. So, kumain. Hindi pa rin gumagalaw yung traffic. So, sabi nung ano, sabi ng driver, Sige, I'll get you to your school on time. Mag-U-turn tayo. Ngayon, kung alam niyo yung bridge na yun, yung bridge na yun, may island dun eh, sa gitna. E yung kotse niya, yun day accent. So maligit, di ba? Low play runs. And then the island in front was about 6 inches uh, high. So there's a big risk that if he crosses that island, he would damage his car. So he said, sige, itutuloy na natin, mag-U-turn ako. So yun yung term nga niya. So tinamaan yung bumper, tinamaan yung, yung underside ng kotse. Pero the thing is, pagka U-turn niya, nakarating sila sa school na alam ko, 11.30. So, he was able to fulfill his promise of bringing my son to school on time. And I didn't know about it. I just, I usually give them five stars.